the screen. Right, disappointed. Yes and no. You know, it's just... No, I'm, I'm, you know, like I said to the guys, I've said this in the last couple of games, we're in the playoffs. You know, we got there. Um, and the idea is to make sure everybody's fit going into the, the playoffs. Um, I'm disappointed we lost two goals from 30 yards with no pressure on the ball. That's disappointing. Um, I'm glad when we made a couple of changes we were back in the game. I'd like to see us put more effort on getting an equaliser. Um, but, you know, having a play on people like Paul McLean today when I didn't want to play him. And you can tell he is absolutely sharp. And there must be a few. The yeah, there's a few. And you know, I've got, I've got to say, like, say, Braids is coming today with uh, young Greg in the middle of midfield. And you know, it's a tough place to come in. in, in the two of them are lacking game fitness. Uh -huh. So it was tough for them. And uh, But it's another game under Greg's belt. He's just going to get stronger and stronger and stronger. So I'm not really that disappointed. But uh, some, somewhere, I, I hate getting beat. You know, and uh, I would like to have seen that wee bit more of a, an urgency to try and get an equaliser. And, uh, but they've scored two 30 yarders, you know, you can't take nothing away from that. Mm. Uh, maybe scored a good goal, but uh, yeah. So, no, we're, 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 we're comfortable. It must be players. difficult to sort of build yourself up when you know you're there. I mean, yeah. Stenny obviously had something to play for. Stenny needed to win the game, yeah. that's right. And, uh, you know, we rested Moisey and Trouts and Carkery, they're all in the bench. Like you'd fly first thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Johnny first Brown, team. you know, we, yeah. we, we've left a lot of boys out, but... Again, I would like to have left Hazer out, I'd like to have left Pabs out, but unfortunately we couldn't, the squad's that small. The next two games is just about keeping keeping everybody ticking over um, and, and keeping them mentally tuned in for going into the playoffs, you know, so that, that's, that's it. And, uh, it's disappointing to lose, but at the same time, you know, um, everybody's going through the game un unscathed, so we'll go to the, the main, game. The main thing, so that's the main thing, you know, it's, uh, you know I, 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 I'm like anybody else, I want to win the game. but. Right this minute, it's about taking care of people, making sure that we go into this playoff with my best team available. And uh, I hope the fans can understand that. You know, it's important that, you know, it's not about winning today and losing Jackson being an injury or Trouton being an injury. It's about the game next Wednesday. So yeah. that's 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 the main thing. Is it difficult to almost keep it, keep it at that balance between obviously when they keep things ticking over and then being ready to go again next uh, Wednesday? Do you know what it is? And do you know what I could really do without the game Tuesday? That's that, and I'm being honest with that. Uh, Really could do with it, but the guys need a break, and I'm going to have to go and play most of them, most of them, half of them again. And you know, it's just preparation-wise, it's not great, um, and it's hard to keep them mentally tuned in right now. And they've, they've achieved what they wanted to achieve, and it's hard to keep them mentally tuned in game after game after game after game because, and obviously we're striving to do that, but every time the, the, like a game today, it's like a mental thing. We need to keep motivating them to stay at the same level. And uh, some players can do it naturally. He's up today was just outstanding. Always is. Graham, Graham, that's that's exactly what I'm saying. Every single game. He's mentally tuned in to play his best, and he was fantastic. And we need to just, we just need to tune, fine tune the rest of the players to be on that level. So, but no, yeah, it's rolling in the playoffs. And, and just looking at that, you've made to quite a few changes just as, as you're going through formation wise, and yeah, things like yeah. you shuffle things. But is that looking at the playoffs as well? Just looking at other ways of playing, or is that just to make yeah, you know, what I, you had available? I know, I know how I'm going to play in a playoff, and I, I, I sort of just about know my team in that. So it's just about, like I said today, just keeping everybody ticking over, and it'll be a bit of game here and there, and the ones that are being rested, rested. Cheers, Ray. Thank okay, you. guys. Oh, cheers. Thank you. Obviously, you had to come here and win, and uh, you did that, so you must be delighted with the way your, your team performed. No, exceptional, you know. We've been also up against it, you know. Four players missing today. They are a normal starting uh, 11, but the, the, the battles are hard, they worked hard, and I can't ask for any more, you know. It's, I mean, four wins in four games, of two maximum points, and the one for me. Uh, April, sorry, so it's, it's, it's uh, a good one for the point of view. So it's going to go right down to the wire, too, isn't it? Mm -hmm. ah, it makes it more exciting. You think of the playoffs, this division, it's always been exciting because the playoffs have been there, you know, and every time it comes to the end of the season, you, you know, so you got a wee bit of buzz about the place going down and going up. And it helps the supporters coming out, you know, and uh, the, the, the last the month it's been exciting, and, then that, and I think that's why it's, it's getting that wee bit extra publicity and that wee bit extra. Uh, when it comes to the Saturdays, more interest. Yeah. And you feel, uh, you, you said to yourself, you had a really good April. You feel you're just about maybe peaking at the right time for this coming if you sneak into the playoffs? I think so. I mean, we're, 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 the boys are we're flying high, you know. They've worked, worked really hard. You know, and you see the three players come off the day, they come off injured. Yeah. You know, on Saturdays, yeah, like for Tuesday, so right? on Tuesday we've got six players Tuesday, training. Right? First team players training. That's all good. And we've been battling through it, but they've been trapped up and beginning out. You know, they showed a wee bit of camaraderie and sticking together. But, but like I say, it's been it's been good good work for them, good hard work.
Are you disappointed at all that it, it's gone to the wire? Because I remember seeing you at the beginning of the season and I thought you were quite a good bet for, for a playoff place early on. Um, are you disappointed that you've no managed to maintain that? There, there is reasons behind that, you know, we've had that many injuries this season. Uh, just kept on coming back, centre half especially, it was a place of struggle with the injuries and left back. And I think uh, if we didn't have the, as many injuries or suspensions that, uh, in that area, it would have been, it would have been, uh, it would have been better than the boots, but that's no many excuses, that's just a fact. Yeah, okay. And who is it you finish off your yearly campaign with? It's Trimra, thank you. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. And, and what about that next week? Is it difficult when you rely on another result as well to just focus on your own game? Or is that you that you could ask for? It's always difficult. You know, like I said, five games ago, I said we must win every game at the end of the season. We've won four so far. Uh, and like I said, the players are week on the day, week in day, you know, and, uh, they're, they're, they're proven that so far. So, down to the last game, and just hope the supporters come out next week and I'm sure they will to, to watch us and uh, uh, to make a, a, a good atmosphere. Big game first and bar as well, isn't it? We have to, have to win the, have nah. the results. I've not seen the results today, I've not seen any at all. It's 2-2-2 and it's remarkable for 3-0, so we sort of won the wire for next Saturday. Nah, it's a, it's a, it makes it more exciting yeah. for, for both teams. So, and I, I see what the end of the day, that's the supporters want to see. So, they bring them along and let's make a good game out, you know, we can only try our, try our best. And like I said, just now the best is going to be good enough. And just, just on the game of days, so I think on the game of days, is, is two goals, have you seen two better goals than that this season? No, excellent. Uh, young Jimmy Reid has come in, he's, he's done excellent, you know, he's got a brave future uh, for himself. And like I said, David Rousson, you know, he's 36 and still, he still covers every blade of grass out there. You know, and the credit to them, you know, the, the pitch was, it was hard, it was, it was fiery pitch, but you, you still try to pass the ball, but you know, and, uh, no, but it was a great, a great team performance. Cheers, not the best part.